Good day everyone. In this video, I will show you how to send Excel file to Gmail. So to do this, firstly, click on the Excel file you want to send to Gmail. You can see here is an Excel file right here, which I have created. So the next thing for you to do is to click on the file button, or you can click on the save button right here. You can click on the file and, and save the document to your PC. So when you click on the file, click on save as. So click on computer, then click on browse. So you can then select the location you want to save the Excel file to. So as for me, I'll save it to my desktop so I can easily see it. Then you can give it a name. So I'll just give it invoice with logo so when done click on save as you can see click on save so right now the invoice has been saved to my desktop so let's go and check it on desktop so right here as you can see invoice with logo so the next thing for you to do when done with that is to attach this document to your gmail so open any browser on your PC. So I'm using this Chrome browser right here. Then you can then log in to your Gmail on your PC. So right now, as you can see, I've logged into my Gmail. The next thing for you to do is to click on Compose. Then enter the email you want to send the Excel file to. So I'll just enter an email right here. So when done, you can add a subject to it. Let me just add the invoice. You can add any subject of your choice. So when done, you can add a description to it. So when done with that, the next thing for you to do is to click on this attachment button. As you can see, attach files. So click on it. Then go to the location where you have the Excel file on your PC. So as for me, I save it to my desktop. As you can see, just click on desktop. Then when you click on desktop, you will then search for the Excel file you want to attach. So as, as you can see right here, invoice with logo. So click on it, then click on open to continue. As you can see right now, the Excel file is attaching to the Gmail. So when it's done attaching, the next thing for you to do is to click on the send button. So right now, message sent. As you can see, the message has been sent. So that was all to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.